Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Jensen's. Hope that you're doing well. 2023 has been basically the year of the clone for me. There have been so many clones coming out every week, new releases, and there's so many different clone houses at this point. It's almost hard to keep up with them all. There are more clones coming out right now than ever before. And frankly, the quality of those clones better than ever before. You can get some cheap stuff, some fragrances for like 20, 30 bucks that smell ridiculously close to scents that cost 10 times that amount. But it is not all sunshine, rainbows, puppies, sugar, and spice. There are some clones out there that uh, frankly are horrible. Just And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys 10 different clones that I think you should personally stay away from. And I'll let you know why with each one of these. Some of them just outright smell horrible. Others, you really have much better alternatives out there that I'll point you to. But by and large, these 10, I wouldn't go for them. I'll have them linked in the description below. But again, I, I wouldn't buy them. But if you do decide to buy some things, here are some codes for you. You can use these at all these different websites. Uh, there they are, those are those are some codes. Triple Traders, as always, they get a lot of clones and uh, they do carry some of these, I believe, that we're gonna talk about here today. So again, warning, I wouldn't buy these. Let's get it kicked off with one of my least favorite clones, Tag Him from our moth. Pretty much every time that I do a video where I tell you guys, hey, maybe you want to stay away from this one, this is one of my favorite ones to bring up. I don't know why, I just, uh, I love to hate it. So this is a fragrance that I got pretty much when it was new, when it was just really getting out there and people were saying, hey, this new Tagium, this is a clone of Bleu de Chanel. And uh, at the time I was wearing a good amount of Bleu de Chanel and I figured, hey, why not? You know, a cheap version of that, heck, I'll wear that. So. I ordered it, got it in, and the problems start right here with the presentation. So when I got this in, you see this little tag, this tag helm on it, it had like discoloration or rust around the edges, and that's just how it came new. Then you have this frankly awful bottle. This is glued on, this little uh, plastic piece, and I have uh, another tag helm, and this has popped off on that one. Thankfully, it stayed attached on here, but then you have the cap, which is just, the worst magnetic cap of all time. If you're gonna cheap out that much with the cap, just go with the standard one. Just put a little normal cap on there. This thing, it's useless. But none of that would matter if the fragrance was really good and very close to Bleu de Chanel. Also, the atomizer is trash. This smells just like the cheapest, cheapest, most synthetic, scratchy take on Bleu de Chanel. If you want a more affordable fragrance that smells like Bleu de Chanel, get Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. Doesn't cost that much, comes from an actual fragrance house, and has a really nice presentation with a magnetic cap that doesn't suck. Don't get that. All right, this next one is just awful, just straight up 100% terrible, okay? This is one that I can confidently tell you you should not get. It comes from Fragrance World, and Fragrance World has put out some awesome clones this year. This is not one of them. It is number four, After Love. To be fair, uh, in the US anyway, you have to kind of seek this one out. Lucky me. It's not readily available last time I checked at uh, Fragrance by Triple Traders, Joma Shaw, places like that. This is a clone of Thomas Cosmala's number four, which is uh, a pre Lemoir. Might have butchered the pronunciation there, but it translates to after love. Yeah. Uh, this one, it just smells horrible. It, it's, it's truly awful, okay? I'm gonna blast this on. Nice three sprays right there. It is assaultingly alcoholic. <laughs> it smells like rubbing alcohol really, really strongly. Now, the Thomas Cosmala that this one is cloning smells similar to Baccarat Rouge 540. So that kind of gives you the idea of where that scent profile here is coming from, but it is so gratingly alcohol with cheap saffron. I mean, that's honestly what it smells like. It's something you don't want to smell like. You really don't. So this one, I really comfortably can say, you don't want it. If you see this and you're thinking about picking it up, don't. After that one, we have Emir's Resurrection. Now this is Paris Corner. They also have another one in a very similar bottle style, which is called Celestial. And that one's not bad. That one is a clone of Ganymede. That one's pretty well done. So that one is fine. 
Don't have to worry about that one. Resurrection is another one that I personally just don't think is very well done. So this is supposed to be, from everything that I've seen, everything that I've read, uh, a clone of Colonia Oud from Aqua de Parma, which I am decently familiar with, <laughs> and um, I don't get it. I mean, uh, this is one of those clones where, you know, from the house, they're saying it's like a twist, you know, like a, a clone with the, some bits and bobs changed around to make it their own thing to an extent. But it, it's another one that just has that very cheap kind of scent profile to it. Uh, Colonia Oud is a leathery fragrance, like leather, citrus, and oud. I'm done in that Colonia Aqua de Parma style, if you're familiar with those fragrances with that line. This one has, again, kind of like a cheap smelling, soapy feel in the opening, kind of green as well. Uh, doesn't really have a nice leather in there. Of course, the oud here is like, just very poorly done. <laughs> it doesn't really smell like something you want to wear. It's one of those things where you smell it and you're just kind of like, what are they going for there? You know, it's like they got some green stuff over here, an attempted leathery oud thing over here, this soapy, almost bitter at times aspect. Um, just don't dig it. All right, this next one, a lot of you will recognize. It is from Armoff. It's Club de Nuit Urban Man. Now, to be fair, Armoff has gotten better over time, I feel like. A tag helm was earlier, and again, I think that's pretty rough. A Club de Nuit Urban Man was early on in the whole Club de Nuit line. There have been a lot that have come out since this one that have been really, really well done. This is not great. Uh, the main reason is that this smells essentially like Mr. Burberry. It's just a very odd thing for Armoff to do, to come out with the fragrance where they're cloning uh, one of the bigger frankly, blue fragrance failures ever. Now, to be fair, I'm not a huge hater of Mr. Burberry. I get why it didn't do as well as Burberry was hoping, but it's got some decent wearability to it and it does have a nice kind of clean, classy edge to it. You know, it doesn't go as sweet as a lot of the other blue fragrances, so I dig it, but it's cheap. Mr. Burberry's cheap, which still to this day, most of the Mr. Burberry fragrances you can get for between 30 and 40 bucks at discounters. So with this one, I would give it a pass. Uh, the only reason really that you should pick it up is if you wanna complete your Club de Nuit collection or something like that. Otherwise, if you like this scent profile, just get the original. Now we got one from Offnon. It is Oud Rising. And this one, this one is kind of depressing because I like the presentation. I think it looks pretty cool. This little uh, pattern on the side, the coloration, the magnetic cap, which is much better than that one. You can tell just by how it snaps in place there. Well, this one is supposed to be a twist on Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Yeah, that makes sense. Oud Rising, Oud Wood. Oud Wood being one of the more popular Tom Ford private blend fragrances. Frankly, a modern masterpiece in my opinion. And this stuff is just, it is rough. It's got a really Windexy kind of smell when you first spray it on, you know, like glass cleaner. It has that very cheap, again, uh, glass cleaner, synthetic chemical scent profile. And that is something that you will sometimes smell. Not often anymore, not often anymore. It was much more common back in the day, back in the day, years ago. But uh, it's something that I've smelled in clone fragrances over the years. So what this is supposed to be is Tom Ford Oud Wood with ramped up white florals. Well, no, it fails magnificently. It doesn't fail poorly. It does a great job at failing. So yeah, it just smells very cheap, vaguely reminiscent of Tom Ford's Oud Wood if you scrubbed away most of what makes Oud Wood Oud Wood. You know, that nice spiciness, that richness. Scrub all that away, add glass cleaner, add really super cheap white florals. That's this. Up next is Dossier's Musky Oak Moss. Now this is supposed to be a Creed Aventus clone. And realistically, if you start looking at clone fragrances, clone fragrance brands, you can throw a dart and hit a good Aventus clone at this point in any direction. Like, oh, Armoff has one, Alharamain has one, everybody has one. Everybody has an Aventus clone. And most of them are pretty well done. This is probably one of the worst Aventus clones I have ever smelled. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that, it just is a very poorly done Aventus alternative. And the reason for that is it doesn't smell like Aventus. If you smell this, there's no chance that if you had this fragrance, okay, 
and it was completely, you know, a blind bottle, nothing here that you could see, and you weren't told anything about it, and you handed it to somebody, there's no chance that they would go, oh, is that Aventus? Wow. It lacks the pineapple, it lacks the birch, it really lacks the bergamot, it lacks the vanilla, it lacks the currant, it, it just, it doesn't smell like Aventus. And I guess to an extent, uh, they're almost telling you that because they call it musky oak moss. So they get points for the magnetic cap, but this is, uh, again, a really poorly done alternative to Aventus. All right, this next one is one that I was pretty excited for and it let me down in a huge way. It is Rave Now Intense. So the original Rave Now is a very pineapple forward fragrance. You could think of it as kind of an Aventus alternative if really the focus was mainly just pineapple. Rave Now Intense, when this came out, uh, the first thing that people said, this was before I got it, before I smelled it, was that it was a Lana Weed Alone Blue Electrique clone. And that got me intrigued because I like Lana Weed Alone Blue Electrique and in the US, discontinued. So I grabbed this up real quick and then I got it in, sprayed this on and thought to myself, God, that is awful. That stuff really does just smell terrible. This one just smells so offensively cheap that I, I don't know how anybody could spray this on and think to themselves, yeah, this is really good. I'm gonna let this one dry down. This may be my signature scent. What it smells like is a polo blue eau de toilette uh, on a not even two string budget, but on a like McDonald's dollar menu budget. It smells unbelievably synthetic, cheap, just all the worst things. You, you don't wanna wear this. You don't wanna smell like this. It's rough. Let's follow that one up with Riffs. Goodness Oud. What could this be? What could Goodness Oud be? So this is a clone of Oud for Greatness, of course. You can tell by looking at the presentation here. Uh, the reason that I include this one is because it is just overpriced and you can get much better alternatives for much less. So this one, as of this video, at Discounters, is going for about $40. That's not crazy expensive or anything, but as of this video, you can get Oud for Glory for a about a little bit over half of that. So again, this is not an awful clone of Oud for Greatness. I would say this actually smells better than this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and is maybe kind of right there with this because this doesn't frankly smell awful. It just is a clone of a really cheap fragrance and the cheap fragrance it clones smells better than this, so why get it, right? This one isn't awful. It's okay. Uh, it's what I would call a decent clone. It'll get the job done. It's not uh, something that has, you know, pieces of the fragrance that smell out of place or, you know, really poorly blended or anything like that, but it does smell worse than the other clones out there of Oud for Greatness and it's more expensive than most of them as well. So it's just, why get it? Now we have one from Zara, Sand Desert at sunset. Now, this one I know a lot of people enjoy, but I, I do feel like to an extent that it gets somewhat of a pass because it's from Zara. So let me explain. Zara is really well known for cloning things. That's kind of what they do. <laughs> Whether we're talking shoes, clothing, fragrances, that's what they do. They look at other brands, other brands that have successful uh, things in, in fashion, and they take it and they do a cheaper version. That's their business model. So it's very easy for people that have a local Zara to walk in there, kind of check out what fragrances they have and give them a spray, you know, see what the new fragrances are clones of. And with this one, it's a clone of Angel Share. And it's actually done by the same perfumer that did Angel Share. So for me, the issue is going to be that there are much, much better alternatives to Angel Share on the market from discounters. And uh, from discounters, most of them are gonna be uh, about the price that this would be or less. So I would go Comra, I would go Sharaf Blend, I would go Ariz Intense, I would go Cocktail Intense, all of those over this one. And I do feel like even just spraying them side by side, that the quality on this is not as high as those ones that I just mentioned. So it's not that this smells bad, because I mean, anything that smells kind of close to Angel Share is probably gonna smell pretty good, and it does. It's just, why buy it when there are other things out there that smell better, that project more, that last longer, that are gonna get you noticed more, that smell higher quality. So Sand Desert at Sunset, again, I know a lot of people like this one, but if I were doing a recommendation list of Angel Share clones, it would not be in the top three, it wouldn't be in the top five. 
And uh, wrapping up this list, we have Pandora Sense, Pandora Amorist. Now, this guy right here, supposed to be a clone of Aqua Amara from Bulgari. Aqua Amara, at one point in time, was uh, just heavily hyped. Everybody wanted this stuff. And then a discontinuation happened, and you know how it goes from there. So having an inexpensive alternative to that is something that I actually would really like because I love when clone houses come out with clones of discontinued scents. That's actually probably my favorite type of clone. So this one, unfortunately, kind of like Tag Helm that we started with, just smells cheap. And you can kind of tell that right away when you look at the bottle, especially when you spray from the atomizer. It's, it's truly awful. I don't know if that comes across on camera or not, but this atomizer is bad. So what ends up happening here is that bitter aspect from Aqua Amara, which some people frankly hated, but other people liked because there were other notes there to kind of balance it out. That bitter aspect is really the main thing that comes through here. And unfortunately, it doesn't smell very pleasant and it lacks all of the depth, all of the complexity, the body that Aqua Amara had, that's not here. So essentially, if you said, like I said before, I want an extremely inexpensive Aqua Amara, that's kind of what this is. Just lacking everything that made Aqua Amara a nice wearable scent. So there we go, guys. Uh, these 10, I, I would stay away from them. Not all of these smell awful. Some do. I mean, some of these, like this one, this one, I would not wear them, period. Others, like these, uh, or this one, they don't really necessarily smell bad. It's just there are much better alternatives out there. So if you're gonna be spending the money, get the better version, right? So that'll do it for me, guys. Thank you all for hanging with me. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.